What's happening, YouTube? It's your homie, Asada Kuma, coming back to you with another video. And in today's video, our featured match is the round four match between Brian of Wreck and Rule. Shout out to him and the team versus his opponent. I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Pretty cool guy, though, um, playing Decepticon Shockwave and Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend, which I will just dub uh, Shocktimus Prime for this for the sake of not knowing exactly what it's called. I think you can kind of make up whatever name you want for the deck. And uh, Brian is playing an interesting four-wide Autobot build of Jetfire, RC, Alpha Bravo, and Fireflight. I do think his deck is heavily orange, so um, the Fireflight um, looks like uh, the uh, Shocktimus Prime player has to go first. Him and Brian are talking. They're doing some hand gestures here. <laughs> probably making some jokes, but because I'm doing a voiceover, I'm going to miss those, unfortunately. I probably should have let it ride out. So it looks like the Shocktimus Prime player is deciding to go first. Or excuse me, it has to go first. I didn't really see who won a die roll, but he is going first. So he flips Prime and he attacks with Shockwave and his alt mode into Firefly because it's brave for seven. Shockwave is one of the few characters that has a very strong attack in all mode. So coming out the gates with seven attack, Fireflight flips no blues. Um, so yep, definitely confirming this is a uh, more orange heavy build. And uh, Scraps a superior uh, superior jetpack, I want to say. That's the Pierce one? Yeah, superior jetpack for a press the advantage. So it would be interesting to see what Brian starts off with here. Might flip Alpha? Nope. Okay. Thinking about flipping Alpha Bravo. Alpha Bravo has two attack, Pierce three in his bot mode. But uh, being that he uh, Brian's deck is more favored in orange, you know, uh, Alpha Bravo should definitely get the three Pierce three. Okay, so he decides to flip Jetfire, and Jetfire has an interesting effect. Most bots have the effect when you flip to this mode in their alt mode, but Jetfire has it on the reverse. His alt mode has bold two, and his um, bot mode has when you flip to this mode, you may equip an armor or utility from your scrap pile onto that character. And with the ruling with superior jetpack uh, plating and the cannon, you can just put them straight on. Well, not necessarily the cannon because he can't get armors, but you can just put it straight onto the uh, character, bypassing needing to uh, play tech research for the turn. So he plays press the advantage on. I can't tell who. He puts it on Alpha Bravo. Okay, so plus two attack for Alpha Bravo and minus two defense for the Shockwave attacking into it with uh, four. Right here. Okay, he's playing some blue. So four attack. And uh, Shockwave is down to two defense. Yep, so he takes two. Okay. Flipped a good bit of white there. Looks like two espionage and a rat, uh, excuse me, wrapping, rapid conversion. Can't speak tonight. All right. Everything gets set up for the next turn. And Optimus Prime, just for the looks of it, looks like he's definitely going to put a hurting on Alpha Bravo. He gets set up here to possibly do some really cool plays this turn with the Shockwave and Optimus Prime, depending on what he plays from his hand and also what he hits off the Optimus Prime's effect. I've had, uh, I got a friend at my local, oh, okay, throws the plasma burst at him, get that fire flight up out of here. Didn't have to attack it anyway, though, because the Alpha Bravo was tapped and the fire flight was not, so he can attack into the Alpha Bravo. He plays a multi-tool on Prime, and um, Prime is not a specialist, so he will just get a static plus one attack. And attack into the character. He flips no actions. But uh, still a pretty strong flip. So he has 9, 12 attack to Alpha Bravo's two, 1 defense. 1 or 2 defense. KOing the Alpha Bravo. So pretty quickly it's 2 versus 2. And looked a little eager there. Thought his uh, multi-tool went to the grave. But that's not the case. It is not grenade launcher. So it will stay intact until it's scrapped by Brian. Or um, it's reported. The um, Shocktimus Prime player replaces the multi-tool with another weapon. All right, so getting RC set up. RC has a ridiculous effect. Whatever her attack is, is equal to her pierce. So it could be she could be playing against a blue deck, and they flip and have 20 defense. If she has 10 attack, she has pierce 10, so she will get through for 10 damage guaranteed. I was hoping for a lot of motorcycle support this set to like just play a straight motorcycle deck, you know, on, on a competitive level, but maybe Siege Part 2. 
I think there's two, still two more parts to Siege. So I'm sure they'll come out with some more stuff over time. All right, so we got a flip of RC here. Brian's thinking how he wants to power up the RC possibly to put some solid damage. Well, actually, no, he gets two attacks too. So this uh, puts the um, Shocktimus Prime player in a uh, kind of dangerous position because he has no armor on the Prime nor on the Shockwave. So uh, he's kind of open here for some heavy hitting by Brian. All right, decides to load up the um, Jetfire with Noble, Noble Blaster, putting it at six attack, six pierce four. I think he has one less attack in that mode. Leaving the battle on RC, so RC has four attack, pierce four, and okay. So six attack, pierce two, because Shockwave is a Decepticon, um, attacking for, looks like, seven pierce two into the Shockwave. Shockwave blocks for four defense. So it'll take three no matter what, putting it at five damage. Five or six, looks okay, six. All right, decides not to get press the advantage. They're doing some recounting here. Okay. All right, then RC attacks into the shockwave as well for five pierce five. Three from the leap into battle, and then one from the Bastion Shield flip. And Shockwave's out of there. And that's six damage on it, and then the other five, it was just enough to KO the um, Shockwave. So Optimus has his work cut out for him. I think he really needs to get rid of a character this turn. Uh, just looking at the board, looks like the easiest character to take care of is um, RC, as long as he can flip some strong oranges. Oh, excuse me, strong oranges. As long as he can flip enough oranges and, you know, Brian flips no blue. But let's see what he plays for his action this turn. Testify. So we both draw two cards. We're going to assume that one damage is on uh, the prime. So he has uh, one damage counter on it. Tax into, I'm not sure. We'll find out here in a second. But he does flip two actions. He flips a backup plant and leap of faith. So I think he'll definitely flip the leap of faith. And it looks like Brian is reminding him. What a nice guy. Reminding him, go Brian, <laughs> that he has uh, the effect of Leap of Faith this turn. So first, Leap of Faith flips multi-mission gear. He could put it on Optimus, but Optimus is not a specialist, so he would not get to play another action. And then he also flipped uh, Rapid Conversion. Don't think he'll be playing that. So he just has nine attack going into... Ooh, even if he attacked RC, RC would live, and he gets two attacks on the... Uh, Optimus Prime again, so not looking good for the uh, Shocktimus Prime player at the moment. Flips Jetfire back, and Jetfire, I think Jetfire has Bold 2. I think I said Bold 2 earlier. It might be Bold 1. Can't read that from here, but either way, RC is really going in this turn. That's five, eight attack, eight pierce, eight going at prime. So no matter what, what he flips, eight damage is definitely going through. Puts him at nine. And RC would be KO, but not just yet, because not to the end of the turn. I'm hoping that they're not passing turn because Jeffire has another attack. I think they realize that. Yeah, yeah, okay. So he's just getting out the way. The, uh, Three damage from the RC, knowing that it'll be KO'd no matter what at the end of the turn. So, okay, yeah. So, the Jetfire has bold one, not bold two. I apologize. So, five attack with the Nose Blaster, seven attack, nine attack total um, from the bold two. And puts the Optimus. Oh, he's still living. Okay, he lives by looks like one. So, Optimus needs to KO Jetfire this next turn. That's a pretty uh, hefty task. I think Jetfire has 15 health and one defense, and it is undamaged. So, he has to deal, Optimus has to deal 16 damage this turn, and Brian Flip, no blue. That's a good start. And a giant axe. Traded off for the multi tool. They should be standing right now, but I'm pretty sure they will here in a second. Sonic Scramble times two. Brian makes Brian discard two cards from his hand. When you play Sonic Scramble, you are able to play another Sonic Scramble. And if you have another Sonic Scramble, you can play another one. And if you play all three Sonic Scrambles in one turn, you're able to draw three cards. So he flips two. Oh, he needed a battle, he needed a battle buff right there and some oranges. So uh, he flips Vaporize. He's able to 
vaporize um, Brian's piercing or what is that? A superior jetpack. Get confused with the names. Cannon jetpack and uh, plating. All right, so you choose to vaporize the pierce since that pierce will definitely, um, you know, KO the prime. But I think the prime will most likely be KO no matter what next turn because Jetfire has a, a decent amount of attack. But we're going through the motions here. All right, put some damage on the Jetfire. It's funny, even with all the interesting plays this game, like, you know how close these games just get. This game is really a battle of inches. Oh, the bigger they are. Okay, so... He has them a couple different ways. He'll have Pierce 4 and get the Pierce on uh, Optimism with only one health left. Fist bump for respect, but the game's not over. The Shocktimus Prime player has a, a chance to uh, redeem himself here and win game two and push it to game three. But yeah, like I was saying, the bigger they are, just guarantees that four. And Optimus, of course, only has one health on it. So that will be game. So Brian's two main attackers are RC and Jetfire. If you go first, you have to attack into Fireflight. And then when he goes, he'll probably send in either the Fireflight or the Alpha Bravo. So his other two to three characters won't be damaged. Interesting. And then, of course, you got Jetfire with this interesting effect to retrieve a utility or a armor. Um, when I think of him, I think of Force Field being able to get back Force Field multiple times. Imagine having a deal with him in a Force Field multiple times throughout the game. He has 15 health, too, so, you know, could take a while to finally KO him, especially if you don't have Bastion Shield. I mean, you can just, even if you have Bastion Shield, the next turn he could possibly just, you know, get the um, his, you know, an armor back or a utility on Q. And I think he's the only character in the game that flips to alt mode and has an effect like that when you flip to this mode type effect. So he starts off the same move. He starts off with uh, um, Shockwave into Fireflight and flips a little better um, this time around to an eight attack onto the Fireflight. Oh. All right. Doing some conversion here. White icon, flip two more cards, three defense. So the Fireflight takes five again. Just like last game. All right. Brian draws a turn. Pondering here. He only has one accurate. Act, okay. He only has one action or upgrade this turn. So see what he chooses to do. By the way, my blue snowball, I have a warranty on apparently, so I just need to send it out to California and um, they will send me a whole new one. So it'll take a while. Hopefully it'll be here by next week. So that'll be nice and I'll be able to get back to that better quality audio. But this will have to do for now. And also keep in mind, I will be rapid firing out these videos throughout the next couple of days because I am going to Origins. So by the time my Origins comes, I won't be able to. Uh, well, not saying I won't be able to, but you know, I'm trying to get all these, most of these videos out before um, the weekend. Because then I have, you know, a lot more content I want to bring to you guys from Origins uh, next week. All right, so Alpha Bravo is attacking in with five attack into the Shockwave. And looks like the Shockwave only took one um, damage. Brainstorm. And, uh, ooh, Disruptive Vengeance. Okay, nice. But, unfortunately, he forgot to flip his Shockwave first. But, okay, would you look at that? Brian being a great guy, once again. He's reminding him to flip the Shockwave first so he can get the full use out of his uh, combos that he's about to go off with. So he plays Brainstorm first to activate Disruptive Entrance to steal any action from its opponent's hand. Also note that Disruptive Entrance can take, again, any action. So he'll be able to um take i still functions or you know one shot stand one shot fall any non-icon cards i was honestly thinking about con contemplating playing that card in my sentinel deck because um you know mirage is the only way to get rid of those non-icon cards but anyway so he plays brainstorm and he also plays backup plan with the uh disruptive entrance to uh discard his hand and draw three cards to reload and he also plays stealthiness on the shockwave so he had now brian must attack into the um um optimus prime 
with stealthiness on Shockwave, he acts as Fireflight because he has well, not not as Firefly. I take that back. We don't. There's no competitive uh, cards I've seen yet that have um or cards I've seen in the competitive meta game that have stealth yet. But that card does give stealth. All right, do some trading here. If Brian had, oh, he gets three attacks here too. How is he able to get three attacks at this point? Well, I guess he started. Okay, duh, that's why. And last game, okay, last game, um, the Shocktimus Prime player did have direct damage to get rid of the Fire Flight. But um, either way, I think unless Brian flips a good bit of uh, oranges here, it won't matter anyway. The Fire Flight might not even get a uh, any damage in. And just what I was talking about earlier, when I think about Jet Fire, I think of Force Field. He flips Jet Fire to get back Force Field. So this is essentially like playing new designs for your turn, which is very interesting. Um, he powers up RC to. Um, Looks like six attack, six pier six so far. So seven pier seven coming at the uh, prime because shockwave has stealth. All right, cards aren't scrapped yet. Uh, Shockwave's prime players cards shouldn't be scrapped yet um, either, but it's all good. I'm over here stuttering. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> All right, Firefly got in there for a one attack, or two attack rather, but Optimus' two defense makes it a null and void. And then good old Jetfire going in for four attack into Optimus again. Yep, because he has to, and Optimus takes two. All right, and everybody stands. And unfortunately for the Shocktimus Prime player, he has to attack in the Fireflight again. So unless he flips Optimus and retrieves Plasma Burst from his Scrap Pile, he will be forced to uh, use an attack into the Fireflight, which at this point will be considered a waste because the Fireflight only has two defense left, and um, it's not a very valuable attack, no matter who he attacks with. So hopefully he does have some direct damage. Maybe he's looking in his Scrap Pile now to try to get rid of it, and he can go after another bot. Man, Jetfire with a force field and then also... Okay, so decides to put most of our mission gear on sh um, Prime and not Shockwave to get the extra action, but I'm assuming he doesn't uh, have another action to play. Okay, nope, he decides not to. He takes that back. I think Brian is being very laid back here and allowing him to uh, change some things up to um, possibly make some better plays. Oh, Okay. Third time's a charm. There we go. All right. On a specialist. But either way, he's still not activating the effect to play another action. Okay. Okay. We're doing a lot of reversing this game. <laughs> All right. So hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's rewind again. Okay. So we're going to flip Shockwave and draw two cards. Brian is possibly talking him through this, possibly. Two Sonic Scrambles. So Brian must discard two cards. Game is throwing me for a loop here. All right. But unfortunately, Shockwave's not in the mode that he wants to be in in order to scrap cards or, excuse me, uh, deal damage to the uh, characters. And now that I really think about it, he hasn't really used that effect, unfortunately, at all throughout this uh, match so far. So hopefully he can get going here soon. But uh, Shockwave attacks with 8 attack into Fireflight. Permanently getting the Fireflight out of there. I suspect Brian will use Isto Function on the Firefly next turn to try and KO the Optimus Prime. Totally joking, by the way. <laughs> Y'all probably thinking, what? ISF on who? The RC is still pretty stacked, so it's Jetfire. No damage on either, so Brian is looking in a very strong position right now. Press the advantage on Jetfire. So seven attack bold one going into the uh, shockwave and also giving minus two defense to the shockwave. Shockwave is looking in danger mode right now with the bold one. He's attacking for seven attack or no, nine, nine attack with the press day advantage. And the shockwave, four defense down to two defense and then disruptive ventures makes it three defense again. So it looks like he should take six.
Yep, that's exactly what happens. Shockwave is seven damage. All right, so the Shock Twins Prime player is unfortunately in another position where if he doesn't have Bastion Shield or Rami Speed to get rid of the Force Field, the most damage he's going to be able to deal to the Jetfire this turn is four. So with the Force Field being able to trigger, and okay, testify, both players draw two cards. Decided what to do here. Decides to go in with Optimus into the Jetfire. See if he can flip a decent action to play. Possibly that Vaporize again like last game. Oh, there it is. But he also has uh, Plasma Burst and Leap of Faith. That Leap of Faith is looking very tempting. I would personally use the Vaporize on the Force Field. Let's see what he does. Looks like that's what he's going for. Maybe not. Yep, decides to use Vaporize on the force field. And Brian flips one blue, so two defense to Optimus's nine attacks, so it'll take seven. Without that Vaporize, he would only took four. So that'll put him close, put the Jetfire closer to being KO'd. Trades Inferno Breath for Bastion Shield. Not that he really needs it for this turn because whoever RC attacks, that Pierce is definitely going to guarantee damage. Get a good shuffle here. Since his deck, he, excuse me, hit zero cards, he immediately needs to reshuffle. Marksmanship, so since he has a range character um, and he has a target to put a uh, two damage on a uh, character in bot mode. So Optimus takes two damage and RC goes in with four attack. I uh, can't tell who he's attacking, but I'm going to guess. Well, he, can't, he cannot attack uh, Shockwave. He has to attack Optimus, so Optimus will take four damage. All right, trading the card for Sonic Scramble and uh, the Optimus is KO'd. So this turn, Shockwave must kill RC. Otherwise, RC will get a 100% kill on Shockwave next turn because RC has the four attack, which means she has Pierce four. And Shockwave only has seven health or seven damage, which means uh, four total health left. So, okay, Brainstorm. Uh, disruption. Look at your opponent's hand and scrap an upgrade from their hand. So it takes Bastion Shield and then Shockwave's effects to trigger now and deal one damage to a character. And also, a quick note, guys, um, your opponent is not required to necessarily remind you of any of your effects based off the new floor rules. If like in a situation like this, he used Shockwave and he activated Sonic Scramble and Disruption and scrap cards out of his opponent's hand. If the player playing Shockwave forgot to um, use the effect of Shockwave, then it's just forgotten. Even if the effect's technically mandatory, like with Wheeljack or getting the three damage off of uh, Reckless Charge, all, none of those things are um, necessarily, you know, to be reminded of. So if your opponent plays Reckless Charge and then they don't deal, deal three damage to their bot, then, you know, that's on them. Shame on them. But then also, you know, your fault as well for not paying attention and then making sure the three damage is on their bot because... Too many turns can go by, and then all of a sudden you remember it's like, hey, did you ever actually put the three damage on the on, on your character from Reckless Charge? And uh, things can get pretty uh, pretty grim pretty quick and uh, get the judges involved. And I honestly think that's going to be a problem at the Origins, but we'll see. Hopefully things run smoothly, and too many people don't you know, forget certain things or whatever or try to forget on purpose, because that's another thing. People are forgetting things on purpose and just hoping their opponent doesn't pay attention. So just be very aware of that. Like I said, if things... That are supposed to happen, you know, even if they don't say you may, things uh, that are even mandatory 
doesn't mean that, you know, your opponent has to remind you, you know, um, Brian's a very cool guy, but um, that doesn't mean that everyone at Origins is going to be that way. You know, there's money on the line, cash prizes on the line. So people are going to be coming with their very serious game faces on. And uh, again, I'm not obligated to remind you. And with that, as you can see, the handshake from earlier, respect to both of these guys for playing. The uh, Jetfire four wide deck, I'll call it Jetbots for now, ended up taking this round and Brian moves on to round five. So with that, I will be catching you guys in my next video. I appreciate y'all for being here as always and uh, be expecting round five to be coming up very soon. Like I said, I'm rapid firing these videos out right now because Origins is coming soon and I want to be able to get some video content for that as well and go from there. And with that, you guys have a great day, great night. Whenever you're catching this video, this is S. Akuma heading out. Peace.